In a moment that captured hearts worldwide, actor Michael J. Fox received a standing ovation at the prestigious British Academy Film Awards. Picture this, a star-studded event buzzing with anticipation where Hollywood's elite gather to celebrate the best of cinema. And then, a surprise that no one saw coming, Michael J. Fox, a true legend of the silver screen, takes the stage. Despite battling Parkinson's disease, he stands tall, a beacon of inspiration for us all. As David Tennant, the host, introduced him, the audience erupted into thunderous applause. He was Marty McFly in Back to the Future. Michael J. Fox! With each step he took, a wave of admiration swept through the room. And when he reached the microphone, the applause reached a crescendo, a symphony of love and respect for a man who has touched so many lives. In that moment, Michael J. Fox wasn't just presenting an award, he was embodying the power of resilience. Despite the challenges he faces every day, he continues to defy the odds and pursue his passion for film. There's a reason why they say movies are magic, because movie, movies can change your day. It can change your outlook. It can sometimes even change your life. And as he handed out the award for best film, his message was clear. Hope is not just a fleeting emotion. It's a choice we make every day. In the face of adversity, Michael J. Fox chooses hope, gratitude, and optimism. But the night held even more significance for Fox. Not only did he present the award to Christopher Nolan and his team for Oppenheimer, but he was also in attendance as Still, a documentary chronicling his journey with Parkinson's disease, was up for Best Documentary. Although nominated, it ultimately lost out to 20 days in Mariupol. Nonetheless, Fox's presence at the BAFTAs served as a powerful reminder of his unwavering spirit and determination. The story of me, take two. When Michael J. Fox was diagnosed with Parkinson's at the age of 29 and three years into his marriage with Tracy Pollan, their lives were turned upside down. The loving pair have stood by each other through life-changing illness and even death threats. I'm not sure I, I communicated all that well, but it's humbling in the deepest way to stand here and accept your kindness and your approbation. While Tracy Pollan and Michael J. Fox had an on-screen romance in their TV show Family Ties, their real-life relationship didn't blossom right away. At the time, Tracy was going steady with 80s heartthrob Kevin Bacon. Meanwhile, Michael had become one of the biggest stars in Hollywood, thanks to the Back to the Future film series. Life had become a whirlwind for him, with movie offers pouring in. Moreover, he was in a long-term relationship with actor Nancy McKeon. I always thought Tracy was cool, Fox said years later, but it was like a couple of married people who worked together and liked each other. Even though the two didn't immediately hit it off, Michael Lowkey knew he was in love with the bombshell. One day, while filming a scene for Family Ties, the actor said he could smell some garlic on Tracy's breath and sensed an opportunity to have a little fun at her expense. At first, Pollen said nothing. Her expression didn't even change. Looking me dead in the eyes, she said slowly, that was mean and rude and you're a complete and total f***ing asshole, Fox recalled. That's when the actor knew this girl was the right one. In that moment, I fell in love with her, the actor confessed. Shortly after, the pair flew to New York City to film a movie called Bright Lights, Big City, where Fox and Pollen's relationship is said to have blossomed. By this time, the two were single and falling deeply in love. Once we got together, I was the most in love person. I still am, Fox shared. Seven months after Michael and Tracy started dating, he proposed. At the time, the young star admitted he was most nervous about the wedding's secrecy. The toughest part was trying to figure out when to get married and then to figure out how nobody else could know about it, the actor said. However, it wasn't just the paparazzi that posed a threat. Pollen and Fox had started to get threatening letters from a crazed fan. The frightening messages prompted the actor to tighten security everywhere he went, and Pollen had to use an alias when she traveled. Soon after, the accused threat maker pleaded guilty to five counts of making terrorist threats and was sentenced to three years of probation in order to stay away from the family. Meanwhile, the couple was determined not to put their lives on hold. Despite their best efforts, the paparazzi sent helicopters to crash their wedding day. But of course, that did not stop the happy couple from having a good time. They tied the knot in 1988, and at the time, Tracy was pregnant with their first child, a son named Sam. When Pollen got pregnant, Fox squeezed Lamaze classes into his shooting schedule. 
We did the whole womb music deal, where we put the headphones on Tracy's stomach and played everything from Vivaldi to the Allman Brothers, he said. Even though things were going very well for the young couple, life was about to blindside them, and not in a way the two could have ever prepared for. Three short years into the couple's marriage, Fox was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease at the very young age of 29. While on location filming Doc Hollywood, the actor began to notice trembling in his fingers and hand. The trembling was the first symptom of early onset Parkinson's, an incurable degenerative condition of the central nervous system that affects motor function over time. When it happened, Michael told Tracy that it would be okay, but he was actually freaking out on the inside. I had no idea what Parkinson's was and I was in denial. You've probably read in people that I'm a nice guy, but when the doctor first told me I had Parkinson's, I wanted to kill him, the star confessed. It's been more than 30 years since the day Fox had to break the news to his wife, but the memory of her reaction is still enough to move him to tears. Parkinson's disease. I told Tracy the news. In sickness and in health, I remember her whispering. At the time of the diagnosis, no one could tell Fox was sick, so he opted not to share the news outside a trusted inner circle. His family handled it quietly, but eventually, Fox fell into a depression and started drinking heavily. The actor said he was isolating himself from his family. It would be a while before Fox adjusted to his new reality. The Canadian's drink of choice was wine, sometimes by the bottle, and he began to hide the empty ones from Tracy. But she knew what was going on, and his drinking and dark mood caused friction between the couple. Fox's moment of reckoning came when he fell asleep on the couch and there was beer nearby. Their then three-year-old son, Sam, was staring at him when Fox woke up. His wife didn't get angry. Instead, Pollen reportedly looked bored, asking him, is this what you want? Is this what you want to be? Fox realized he had no choice but to sober up and take life one day at a time. After overcoming his drinking problem, Michael recalled his wife saying he finally returned, meaning his humor, personality, and bright optimism returned. Through it all, we've loved each other, Fox said. And that love never died, Pollen added. In 1998, Fox finally went public about his disease. After undergoing brain surgery to help relieve tremors caused by the condition, the actor publicly revealed that he had Parkinson's. It was shocking for anyone who counted themselves a fan or remembered him as the forever young Marty McFly. The gesture was also a turning point for Parkinson's visibility. From that day forward, Fox became the celebrity face of the cause, and he and Pollen have worked tirelessly since to raise money for research and awareness. They launched the Michael J. Fox Foundation, which has become the largest nonprofit funder of Parkinson's research globally. The actor feels that all the good in their family comes from his wife and credits her for his happiness.